Yes. Yes, Les. Where? All right, I'm on my way. Are you satisfied now? Everything happens for the best, boss. It's murder. If you owned a hover-round power chair, where would you go next? The Statue of Liberty? The Grand Canyon? The Family Picnic? It's all possible with a hover-round. Hot. A silk tie, a heavy gold ring, custom made suit with a label cut out. And registered as John Smith. He shot from about here, the trail of blood over the window. He was draped over that sign. The gun? The lab boys took it. I can't have a... No, it was just a 32. Why would anybody so well-dressed come to a flea bag like this? That's a good question. Gentlemen, shall we? Yeah, no answers here. There's always the element of surprise. You boys go ahead. What are you going to do, Captain? Look around. You never know. Maybe John Smith had a poker hunters. Hello, poker hunters. What does that mean, and who are you? Oh, I'm just a friendly pilgrim checking on John Smith. This was his wigwam. Your smoke signals are losing me. Where's Mr. Selby? Who's Selby? Mr. Pilgrim, I've enjoyed our chat, but I want some answers. Some straight ones. I trust you have a permit for that. And a license. Oh, no. Private detective girl type. What do you do for bread? I guess I should have known. I thought it would happen one day. You wouldn't be... Uh... Honey West. North, east, and south, too. Where is my client, Andrew Selby? In the morgue. Put that thing away. I'm Captain Burke Homicide. There's no rolls out front. I parked it around the block. I didn't want to give the neighborhood illusions of grandeur. You need more ID than a well-cut suit. My tailor will be flattered. May I? Slow. I wondered when we'd cross. So you're Bert. I'm back. I'm not sure I like the way you said that. Oh, don't worry. To know me is to hate me. Yes, I've heard some stories. Isn't murder a little out of your line? We aim to please. You've already succeeded. May I give you a lift? You taking me in? Is that an invitation? Don't let it go to your head. On the way, you can give me a full report on everything you know. Everything, Captain. Let's try the case first. Let you get ahead of me? If you insist.
He called me. He was frantic. He wanted me to bring a gun. What's that noise I hear? The electric lock. Let's get back to Selby. Andrew J. You'll find it in the phone book. Why did he hire you? I'll trade you, Captain. My report for your lab report. The man's dead. Why don't you get off the case now? Do they make these in pink for lady detectives? Well, there's always a matter of a license for a private eye. I think you're threatening me, Captain. Like for uh, withholding evidence? I hate to hurt your feelings, but I have a date. So have I. So you're Burke. So you're West. <laughs> All right, now that we've got that settled. Was somebody following Selby? Not the two days I was. How'd he get killed? A 32, it's in the lab. Only two days? Today was the third, I lost him. Maybe he gave you the slip? Got to put the pieces together. Another drink? I warn you, the juice of the grape will not loosen my tongue. I'll find out sooner or later. Let's not talk shop. As I said, it's a police matter now. That's what the man said. Where can I drop you? Oh, anywhere. I have friends. Like the one behind us? The sharp. You're not exactly down. All right, Henry, pull up to the curtain. Well, this is where I get off. And off the case. Remember that. This guy pushing you? Just nudging a little. Sam Bolt, Captain Burke, homicide. You her watchdog? But no leash. You mean you get lost sometime? Come on, Sam. Oh, don't forget. Full report. Nice, Captain. Captain Burke, the dead man is Andrew Selby. Get me his address. Well, try the phone book. That's always good. you were Mrs. Selby coming back. From where? Who are you? I'm Captain Burke. I'm with Homicide. May I? Of course. Come in. I'm Maitland, Selby's attorney. You said homicide. An ugly word, isn't it? Not Selby. You in the cuckoo clock, Mrs. Selby. Where is she? If that's a casual question, she's out. If it's official, as her husband's attorney, she'll talk to me first. It's official. That's always this one. How long have you been here? About 15 minutes, but you're off base, Captain. I'll throw a few warm-up pitches. Who let you in? The maid. Do you uh, always work this late in uh, formal clothes? Do you? Oh, I thought I might have to make a formal charge. Okay, talk to Mrs. Selby. Uh, get the story set between you. Uh, first, there has to be a story. Second, I'll be back to hear it. <laughs> Burke didn't even know Selby's name. That means no ID. And Selby's black bag, you didn't mention that. Maybe the plane closed it. Maybe the killer took it. What was Selby carry? I don't know. You're wasting your time. Burke has a reputation for being thorough. Look, for two days you've been following Selby. And you're... Places he went seem normal for a banker. Mortgage company, brokerage house, another bank, back to his office and home again. You should have called me when he gave you the slip. Sam, please. Why'd you pick up from Burke? Played footsie, but no real answers. You didn't look like you were suffering. All right, Sam. But you always try to do it alone. One of these days you're going to walk into something you can't handle. Sam, we're retired more. We're going out into the world of finance. No, I like Burke. It's got style. Strike the polka dot. Oh, Ivy League. Answer it. Hello? Selby. Yeah. Selby, I won't call again. I mean it. Double the money or we don't go. Oh, yeah, what? Hey, this isn't Selby. Well, what do you make that? Better put your tie on early, Sam. Looks like it's going to be a big day.
Hold your door. Sam. I'm gonna keep an eye open till you get inside. You're a good guy. That's what I keep telling you. got tied up. Look, next time, let me know where I can cool my heels. Chris, you know I've asked you not to use the key unless it was an emergency. Like murder. Who told you? Captain Burke. Where? Selby's house. Look, you call me, you say Selby's in trouble, you hang up. After all, he was my client, too. I went over to the house. It's been a lovely evening. Good night. No, no nightcap, no invitation into the private office. Hmm? Good night, Chris. Sam Bolt, drive you home? It is just too late for the witness stand. You let him know where you were. Well, of course he works for me. You want another hired hand? Able-bodied, law degree, reasonably intelligent. Very attractive. Great guy with a rib. I can't afford you. Honey, look, now that it's murder, drop it. You're beginning to sound just like Burke. I shouldn't have sent you the case. Mr. Selby paid me to find out who was following. Honey, will you quit? What about Mrs. Selby? Well, she wasn't home. Oh? I know that O of yours. Well, I'll tell you something I didn't tell Burke. Mr. Selby was afraid she wanted him out of the way. Good night. Wait for the two beeps and then start talking. This is the Versailles Beauty Salon, Miss West. We wish to confirm your appointment with Cecil at 2 o'clock tomorrow. This is Honey West. Your message is being recorded. Wait for the two beeps and then start talking. Honey West, be smart. Stay alive. Forget about Selby. Honey West, be smart. Stay alive. Forget about Selby. Does your bra show when you look in the mirror? Are you losing the shape and size you desire? Introducing Bust Holder, the revolutionary new wireless backless bra that will give you the perfect bust line you've always wanted. In fact, you'll never want to wear another bra again, guaranteed. Bust Holder is not a sticky bra or gel insert, not even close. Look, simply slide Bust Holder in any top, and presto, you'll have the perfect bust. The secret is its patented contoured breast holder that actually lifts, shapes, and can even increase your bust a full cup size, while clothes keep it securely in place to give you a... Good morning. You're early. Well, I'm first. What do you know that I should? Selby was a banker. Say, where'd you get his name? Competition. The what? Honey West. Well, I guess there comes a time in every man's life and, uh... Thank you. You're a doll. Call any time, day or night. <laughs> By all means, we're a public service. Good morning, Captain. A deal is a deal. My report for yours. Any other little thing I could get for you? No, I may think of something. You're a doll to ask. Oh, by the way, the gun that killed Selby was his own. Your men are all so attractive. Funny, I never noticed that. You didn't introduce me. I didn't think you could stand the shock. Have I uh, missed anything? I don't know. What do you have in mind? Well, who is she? Honey West, private eye fool. Oh, no, I knew you'd say that. You want to meet her? Yeah. Tell her, keep her out of my hair. And as for you, this is her report. What answers? I want to know why Selby hired Private Eye. He was liquidating his assets. He must have been carrying a hundred grand in that black bag. A walking jackpot. That's why he needed the gun. How could someone have been following him and I missed it? Well, anyway, I lost him and he got himself killed. And no label in his suit. The disappearing act. Not by boat. How do you figure? Police report. Salt residue on the shoe, fish scale on the arch, speck of blue paint on his sleeve. Well, now all we have to do is find where someone was cleaning fish by a boat with fresh blue paint. You can do it, Sam. I may kill myself. Not before you get a lead. There are only 9,000 private boats. I have faith in you, Sam. Thanks, Sensei, you're a doll. Sayonara. Ooh! What's the matter? Oh, I ruined my manicure. 
Oh, well. It's you for the high seas and me for Mrs. Selby. You can't win them all. Maybe you had the fatal charm. No, not fatal. That wouldn't be fun. You haven't met Mrs. Selby. No, but you meet such a nice class of people going in. What do you want? Mrs. Selby, I know how difficult it must be for you. I'm Captain Buck of Homicide. Now, come on in. Huh. I'm leaving now. <laughs> you must excuse my appearance, but it's the maid's day out, and, uh... That female getting me out of bed. Why anyone wants to get out of bed before 3 o'clock, I don't know. 8 o'clock last night interests me more. That's when your husband was killed. What did you say your name was? Buck, like in homicide. Would you like to call me Vera? Mrs. Selby. Would you mind telling me where you were last night? Uh, I'm going to keep all the ashtrays filled. I'm never going to clean a glass. And, um, I'm never going to get out of bed. Well, some people just fill ashtrays and some people kill people. Some people deserve to be killed. Would it be too personal for you to call me Vera? Have you talked to your attorney? Oh, you mean Maitland. My husband's attorney. Everything the Selby's. I used to be a showgirl. How could you tell that? About last night, Mrs. Selby. Could have had anybody. Picked nobody. That could be a reason for murder. I feel ashtrays, remember? But that female that called me and said he was going to walk out on me. When was that? Last night, about six o'clock. Could have killed her. But you got to your husband first. Grounds for divorce. That's what he wanted. But I never gave him a chance. I was a good wife. I was always dressed before dinner, at least. Well, that's the way it is. A woman's job never ends. Took care of all his stupid little needs. See, I wasn't just a showgirl. I did a number. On a velvet swing. With a big hat and an organdy skirt. There was a moment in the second act when the girls all sort of stepped back and I came out in front of them. And I sang... Who made the suits? There's no one to cry. A man doesn't cut the labels out of his suits unless he wants to disappear. Someone ought to cry. Where did your husband keep his gun? Did he have a gun? He killed him. I was here last night, Mrs. Selby. Where were you? I went for a ride. Alone. Where? By the ocean. Near fresh blue paint? I don't know what you mean. You better pinpoint it. It's a large ocean. All looks the same. It's just a lot of water. Well, for your sake, I hope someone saw you. Why? Before your husband was killed, that's where he was. Somewhere near the ocean. <laughs> But Selby converted everything he had into cash. He must have been carrying a hundred thousand. Theory? He was running away from something. Yeah, I just met him. Well, fancy meeting you here. Try like your tailor. I'll arrange an introduction. Don't you think we might save the taxpayer some money if your friend down the street rode with me? No, thanks. I need him on my side. Her name is Miss Friendly. Elizabeth Friendly. Mm -hmm. She's been working for Mr. Selby for years. She knows all about him. She does? Here today because.
because of my respect for Mr. Selby. I know he'd have wanted everything handled as efficiently as... as though he was still... I'm sure he would. He was a worthy man. Kind, considerate. I have the feeling someone didn't think so. Yes, I know. Would you mind elaborating? He was married. I've met his wife. Did he have a gun in his office? That's a popular misconception. Bankers never carry money. You learn something every day. Miss Friendly... If you don't mind, Captain Burke, I did answer all these questions for Miss West. I'll have to take his apartment book. It's also personal. It's also homicide. It's gone. What are we going to plead? Kleptomania? We haven't tried that one. They'll find out you took it. Like right now. Kleptomania sounds inspired. Let the police handle I it. I will when I find a killer. Where are you going? Try Wednesday the 24th and stall at our knee time. get around. Big clientele. Right now you've got a lot to defend. I'm on a retainer. Start earning it. All right, her car's outside. Where is she? She'll be back in a minute. She's gone. She is. She went through a wall. Oh, uh, by the way, she left something for you. How many more of your clients are involved in this little opera? Just Selby and Miss West. Well, a smart attorney who knows the law could help a man disappear, then double-cross him. From your reputation, Mr. Burke, I expected better. Yeah? Wednesday the 24th. Tell your client not to dog ear pages. Oh, uh, what's on it? Oh, I see the ocean, a boat, and maybe fresh blue paint. I use oxygen. I use oxygen. I use oxygen. Are you currently on oxygen? <laughs> to the 400. It's terribly personal. Well, uh, whatever I promised you, I must have been drunk. I want to charter your boat. The harem? The harem. Oh, well... Oh, you're perfectly safe, Miss... Uh, it is a miss, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I have to go out of the country. I have to go to Mexico. Oh, you robbed a bank. No. No, it, um, it was a man. Oh, sure. Some men find it very attractive. Uh, well, why pick on me? Well, your boat was so pretty and freshly painted and everything. What are you fishing for? Well, that's supposed to be a secret, but you were recommended by a friend. Uh, if I have one left, tell me about it. Andrew J. Selby. Let's talk in my cabin. Telephone and everything. Sit down. 
Now, what's this all about, miss? Mrs. Elby said you were very reliable. Why haven't you read the papers? Mr. Selby's dead. Well, that poor dear, how did that happen? He was murdered. You're joshing me, Mr. Blackwell. They found him in a hotel room. Pretending to be what he wasn't. Well, now, why would anybody do a thing like that? That's what I wonder. You're running away from a man, huh? <laughs> Mrs. Blackwell? But I like to play games, uh, too. <laughs> Just remember, there are social restrictions. I wonder what's behind those glasses. My doctor calls it myopia. Oh. Mr. Blackwell? What do you mean, Mr. Blackwell? Well, like you said, baby, that's a disappearance. Now, just why don't you grow up? Huh? That's all the fun. <laughs> You're just not my type. Cinderella, turn in your glass slipper. It's painful, but here. What else did you pick up? You wasn't interested in conversation. Give me some on the way into town. I can find my way by myself. Oh, yes, I know. You've got friends. H.W. Bolton Company, is that yours? Mine and the banks. All the goodies inside? You try to keep up to date. It's not admissible in court. Helps to get there. I'll try to manage without your help. I dime back. The number I gave Burke is the number in the payphone at the hotel where Selby was killed. And Blackwell's part of the disappearing act. Maybe in more ways than one. Shotgun. You must be crazy. The police were just here. Well, what happened? Gordon, he didn't come here. They must have seen you. What do you expect me to do? Just sit there and wait? Don't you realize what will happen if they find out about us? You were going to help him disappear and then run out on me, too. I needed the money. Why, don't I give you enough? I'm always digging up Well, you money. can't stay here. They probably have somebody watching us. That, that truck out there. That's just a truck? If it wasn't there before, I'm going to take a look. Uh-oh, that's our exit cue. Well, I even get a chance to build them once. There are other characters in Selby's appointment book. Sign your autograph book, little girl. That's where I got your name. In Selby's appointment book. Don't tell me you're a cop. Private, but I'm easy to talk to. If you mean alone, I got a lot of ideas. Just play the straight. Don't be the protective league, Sam. Come into my parlor. That's what kills most people like Selby. Habit. Like freezing? No, his wife. That's what killed him. Now, if she was a doll like you. Why were you in Selby's appointment book? Well, I'll tell you about that, baby. Start to finish. The finish was murder. Let me put on some dry threads. I went to the bank, met Selby, for a loan. For what? Underwater equipment. Hey, I'd like to take your picture. I bet you're something underwater. Let's keep it on dry land. You know something? With equipment, my imagination, I can go anywhere and make a buck. How much did you borrow? He turned me down. No collateral. Lunch time. You want a bite? There were several appointments in Selby's book. Are you ready? I'm braced. Yeah, yeah. Selby! Selby! Five grand he offered me. 
He's got me drooling. But there was a string attached. Enough to hang us up? Hey, don't give me the bed, please. Just get to the point. He wants me to help him get rid of his wife. You know, get him ground for the boy. Another guy just helped him leave, but not sell. He has no imagination. Of course, you refused. Look, I won't con you. I wanted the five grand, but I told him, get yourself another boy. Honor, no doubt. Hey. Have you ever seen Mr. Selby? I had to introduce her around and get off my back. Look, I got style. If I want to go that route, I can have my pick. I think I'm getting seasick. Me too. Hmm. You know, it never works out with guys like Selby. He wanted to dump his wife, he's not smart enough to figure it out. So that she's got it all. Man, what a layout that house was. Where were you yesterday? For my day off. Busman's holiday. I went fishing. Do you know Stacy Blackwell? No, I never heard of him. Do you have an alibi for 8 o'clock? Not for tonight, baby. Lucy, 5 o'clock Saturday, and then come back. Don't shade it too close. Break fast at the gate. They say you're a front runner, too. I miss you. I turn around and you're not there anymore. Well, incidentally, your report didn't mention that Selby was going to leave his wife. I didn't know. Then why'd you call her and tell her that before he was murdered? Oh, well, uh. Thanks a lot. Oh, it's a good thing we both reached the same appointment book. Sam? I didn't call Mrs. Selby. Well, I didn't say you called. I said that female called. Meaning Miss Randley. Don't take that name to heart. She was always after him. Knew all his secrets. Now, he didn't tell me a thing, even though I gave up a career for it. You see, I wasn't always just a showgirl. I did a number. I wore this big hat, and I had an organdy skirt. And I met your friend, Jocko Creighton. Does he tell you about the crummy deal my husband cooked up? Grounds for divorce. He's such a good wife. And Stacy Blackwell. Who? Oh. Isn't that funny? Here, your husband had grounds for divorce all along, and he didn't even know it. That doesn't mean I killed him. No, that's true. You'll find that Miss Friendly down at the bank. But uh, she won't get anything. Now he's gone, it all belongs to me. There's nothing left. What? Didn't you know? Your husband had everything converted into cash, and all the cash has disappeared. Stacy. Nothing was ever enough for him. Didn't he know that... You mean the money's gone? I'm so sorry. Shall I say hello to Mr. Blackwell for you? the police. We've worked hard and always been good at saving. Who else knew that he was carrying all that money? You knew every move he made. I was devoted to him. So you're taking a luxury cruise? What does it matter? Burke will find you anywhere you go. I came to Mr. Selby right out of business college. He was very patient with me. I didn't know anything. How to dress, 
how to talk to people. You were in love with him. Why, well, I never told him that. I, I understood him. I could have made him happy. You thought he was going to take you with him? Well, he never actually said he'd take me. I guess maybe I just took it for granted. How could he function without me? Who else would be quiet while he was trying to concentrate or listen? Just listen. So when you found he was leaving without you? I wanted to hurt him. So I called his wife and I told her. So she could stop him, force him to come back. So he'd have to sit and look at her every night for the rest of his life. You stopped him, Miss Friendly. Fifteen years of my life just dreamed away. He never once even looked at me. The only person he could really trust. Blackwell, I, I knew he'd demand more money. How did you know about Blackwell? Well, I... You helped Selby plan all of this, didn't you? Oh, no. You knew where he was. Oh, Mr. Selby was afraid of Blackwell. He called me from the hotel. Or you were there. I think you better cancel the cruise. Can't put it together. She loved him, Sam. Enough to kill him? If he had a gun, why did he call me to bring one? He wasn't carrying a gun. Whoever killed Selby took it from his house. Or his office. Pick up his secretary for questioning. Selby was a man of habit. He didn't plan his disappearance alone. Two victims already. Honey West, be smart. Stay alive. Forget about Selby. I've got a job to do. Not through that door. When you take off that suit of armor, we'll talk. A woman's place is in the home. All the pieces in front of us, I feel it in the palm of my hand. That phone number from the boat proves Blackwell knew where Selby was. He and Mrs. Selby were having a thing. You know there's the imprint of another phone number from another page? Let's see who else Blackwell phoned. Eight three three oh seven nine nine. Tom, stop us here. You get. Hello. Oh, yes, Commissioner. Oh, yes, I'd be very happy to talk to him. It's the governor. Why, yes, Governor. My time is your time. Of course, the fish get... Uh, no, I'm sorry, Governor. I was just referring to something else. Yes. Yes, Governor. Yes, I'm here. I'll hold on. Yes, Governor. What can I do? I'm hooked. Yes, Governor. You don't even know what you're fishing for. Fish. That's it. Fish scale. What? Oh, she's not well. Sam? You look terrible. I've been meaning to tell you, you, you really are out of condition. We should never have given them the vote. All right, Sir Galahad. Uh-oh. What's the matter? My hip. Oh, what did you do? What do you mean, what did I do? It was your idea. My idea to put her on yes, the... Yes, it was your idea. Just get a chair, please. Get, get a, a chair. 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 Here you uh, No, Chris, a straight back one, please. A straight back chair. What did you do? What do you mean, what did I do? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, Senator. Yes, yes, he's coming here. That's very nice. And you want me to take him on all the rides? Yes. Yes, I know he didn't make it last time. I feel sorry for the poor fellow, yes. Look, Senator, I... Senator... Senator, I... But... But... Senator, I've got a date with a killer. Henry, those new tires you were supposed to pick up. Boss, you know my girlfriend just came over from the islands and had to take care of Well, don't let working for me interfere with your social life. Well, that's nice of you, boss. Where are the tires? In the garage. 
But at least they're safe there. Who are you expecting? The cavalry? If I know that honey, where she'll be along. Yeah, she's a smart girl, but I wouldn't want her to handle this. It's too hot. I knew you'd be back. We left a lot on set. Well, if you want to play... Let's play you killed Selby. Oh, you got a line out. I think you're honest. For you, baby. Hook, line, and sinker. And Blackwell, too. Well, all right, so I lied about Blackwell. Does that spell murder? I don't think someone like you would turn down $5,000 unless he had something else in mind. And I do. Selby wanted out. Now, as you said, he had no imagination, so you helped him disappear, including hiring a detective to implicate his wife. No bite, baby. You couldn't do it alone. So there was Blackwell for the boat and to keep Mrs. Selby busy. You're trawling. Oh, and to steal Mr. Selby's gun for you. Talk. But you wanted the jackpot. So the double-double cross. No more Blackwell. You won't hold water. It was fish scale on Mr. Selby's shoe. You'd been fishing that day. More talk. You know, I, I really think that Mr. Selby's little black bag full of money is around here somewhere. Why don't I call Amos Burke and uh, you can tell him about it. You want to play it the hard way? Let's dance. Time carry a dime for a phone call. I got your number. Well, if I didn't see it, I just wouldn't believe it. Train. Say, the traffic around here is getting heavy. Why don't you put money in the meter? Hey, you come on strong. And sneaky, too. Mm. Well, here we are. And there they are. Banzai. Amos, have you ever thought about... Honey, I stay with the city. Honey, have you ever considered... Mm -mm, no, I fly solo. Well, don't fly too close. I'm liable to clip your wings. So you're Perk, huh? So you're West. <laughs> 